terrible wars. Their brutality was nothing compared with the horror that came when the Japanese invaded the Pacific Islands. Thousands of Japanese troops and Allied forces died in some of the most ferocious fighting of the Second World War. This is Booka Booka village, which is one of the many villages on Milne Bay. Now back in 1942, a flying fortress, a B-17 bomber, was flying over this part of the bay and it had engine problems and the pilot actually crash landed the plane in the water about a hundred yards from this beach. Luckily it didn't sink for maybe one or two minutes and people from this village paddled out in these canoes and they saved all ten crew. Now that plane sits in 150 feet of water and we're to go and dive that that wonderful old flying fortress. Should be very interesting. The wreck of the blackjack lies on a sand bed 150 feet down. As David descends onto the B-17 bomber, his thoughts are of the many young crew that perished while bombing Japanese destroyers and troop ships that patrolled these waters. As the huge plane comes into view, I have mixed feelings. Excited to dive such a completely intact flying fortress and sadness for the young men that lost their lives flying these old bombers. The Blackjack has a fascinating history. She was piloted by Captain McCullen and together they flew many successful missions against the Japanese. Sadly, Captain McCullen was killed flying another plane in Papua New Guinea and the Blackjack eventually crashed during a severe storm. Many brave bomber crews died flying these old warplanes. Blackjack, like all B-17 bombers, is huge. Its wings span over 100 feet and it was equipped with four massive 1,200 horsepower motors. How claustrophobic it must have been manning the cannons, watching for Japanese Zero fighters. Incredibly, the guns still rotate skyward, as if ready to burst into rapid fire. The old plane seems as if it is waiting for Captain McCullen to once again take the controls. I am totally humbled by the bravery of the young men and women that fought to preserve our democratic way of life.